Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to read about an unusual bat who ends up with some unusual birds, and the story is called Stella Luna, and it's written and illustrated by Janelle Cannon. Huh. So I see a bat here who's kind of tangled up in a tree, and hmm, I see some birds. I didn't think they came out at the same time. I wonder what will be unusual about this story. Hmm. We have some sketches of some birds and bats. Stella Luna. And in a warm and sultry forest, far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Here they are. So we've got our mother bat with her baby underneath, like we learned in Bat Loves the Night. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape, but the owl struck her again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down and down she went, faster and faster, into the forest below. And here's our owl swooping down on our bat. And here's Stella Luna falling down, down through the night. So now we know that bats are prey for the owls, who is our predator. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. Wrapping her wings about her, she clutched the tiny, thin branch trembling with cold and fear. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the tiny bat could hold on no longer. Down and down, again, she dropped. So there she is clinging onto the twig, but she can only hang on for so long with her little feet. And now she's falling again. Flip! Stella Luna landed head first in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mother, hissed Pip. There she is landing in the nest, and we know she gets out and hangs underneath it. Here's our three baby birds, Flap, Flitter, and Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, Ugh! but not for the crawly things that Mama Bird bought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Ooh, for a fruit bat. So if her name is Fruit Bat, what do you think she eats? Yeah, fruit, which makes her a herbivore. So... Is she going to like the flavor and the taste of a grasshopper? Yeah, I don't think so. Stella Luna. She learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept all night. 
She ate bugs, even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing, except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep, hanging by her feet. Once, when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided they would try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Neek! She cried. Get up here this instant! You're going to fall and break your necks. The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. You're teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of the house. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces. She slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved like a good bird should. But is she a bird? No, we know she's a mammal, isn't she? She's got that fur, and that she would normally have warm blood, and she would drink mum's milk when she was born. But she's living with birds, so she's got to act like a bird. All the babies grew quickly. Soon the nest became crowded. Mama Bird told them it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip. Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. And if we look carefully, we can see her thin skin wings with those finger bones that we learned about in Bat Loves the Night. Here we've got her feathery friends. Flitter and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Mm, Stella Luna tried to do the same. Yikes! She definitely is not looking very graceful. How embarrassing! Yikes! I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. Then no one will see how clumsy I am. Is she supposed to be the right way up? No, you're right. Bats hang upside down, don't they? <sighs> the next day, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours, exercising their new wings. Oh. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We'd better go home or we'll get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown so far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. Oh, she looks like she's really out of breath. She's got her tongue hanging out. She just keeps flying and flying. And the three birds have stopped on a branch taking a break. But we know Stella Luna has trouble doing that, so she just kept flying. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promised not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon she was fast asleep. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming nearer. Ooh. Who do you think is coming? If it's getting to be the night time and she's hanging in a tree, who do you think's coming? Hey, a loud voice said. Why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. Uh, I'm not upside down. You are. Stella Luna said, Ah, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You are hanging by your thumbs. So that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat. I'm hanging by my feet. That makes me right side up. Hmm. Stella Luna was confused. 
Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaves like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate bugs, stuttered one. You slept at night, gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait, let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she asked. Sniffing Stella Luna's fur, she whispered, You are Stella Luna, you are my baby. You escaped the owl, cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Come with me and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug for as long as you live. But, but it's the night time, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we will crash into the trees. <laughs> We're bats, said Mother Stella Luna. We can see in the darkness. Come with us. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Okay, scientists, we know that bats have regular eyes. So is she really seeing in the night with her eyes or is she using something else? Yep, you're right. She's going to be sending out those squeaks, that echolocation, and then hearing her way through the dark. Good job. Soon, the bats found a mango tree. And Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. Mm -mm, I am never going to eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flutter and Flap. So there she gets to eat some sweet fruit. And we know that fruit grows on a flowering vine or tree and that it has seeds inside. Awesome. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me. Meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, hmm, I feel like I'm upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until the dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. Is this going to be a good idea for these birds? Hmm, I don't think they're like owls. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. My God, see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, hollered Flitter. Ah, shrieked Flap. Hmm, they're going to crash, gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree and the birds grasped a branch. Stella Luna hang from the limb above them. So there she is. She swooped around and she gathered them up. She was being a very good friend, taking care of her friends. Oh, we're safe, said Stella Luna. And then she sighed. Oh, I wish you could see in the dark too. And we wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. 
How can we be so different and feel so much alike? Mused Flitter. How can we feel so different and be so much alike? Wondered Pip. I think it's quite a mystery. Flit chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna. But we're friends, and that's a fact. Now, if you look really carefully, it looks like they've made the shape of an upside-down heart. I like how Stella Luna has wrapped them in her wings, and the birds have wrapped Stella Luna in their wings too. And then here is some information about the bats, where we can see those finger-like bones in the bat wing that looks like a hand, and we can see that. They've compared a bat to a fox, and its fine features. Wow! So we compared some birds and some bats together. Which one would you rather be? Would you rather be a bat, or would you rather be a bird? If you were a bird, would you be a nocturnal bird like an owl, or would you rather be? A diurnal, daytime animal, or would you rather be a bat and stay being a mammal? Hmm. Would you rather be born from an egg, or live birth and drink milk? Hmm. So many choices to make. I wonder which would be the best one for me: bat, bird, bat, bird. Hmm. That's going to be a tough choice. It will definitely be your opinion, an I like statement. Go ahead, tell us which one would you rather be, bat or bird?